Hey guys, uh, I'm here in the guitar room, uh, so I'll show you a little bit what I have here. Um, it's also a very special day for me. Um, I'm getting a new guitar for the first time in quite a while. I've got several used ones I bought in the last couple years, but uh, it's been probably 10 or 15 years since I bought one new. So uh, I'll show you what I'm getting and what I got, and we'll take a look at it and compare. All right, so what we have here is a Ibanez RG450DX WH for white. Um, I love this guitar, but it's pretty beat up and crappy. Um, I had a neck repair here that didn't come out too great, uh, but it does stay in tune and it's playable for that. But the real problem with this guitar, right here, this bridge mounting peg. Uh, you can see it's way off. Uh, so that actually cracked the body out underneath. Uh, I had it repaired about three years ago, and recently I noticed it getting worse again, and it's pretty much unplayable at this point. Um, it doesn't stay in tune, obviously. So what I got here is a brand new rg 450 dx white this is a 1997 this is a 2022 so we're going to check them out check out the differences compare them side by side all right guys so here it is moment of truth make sure we got the right guitar make sure it's all in one piece i am concerned because i see some holes in the box um but i assume it's double boxed hopefully nothing's damaged inside actually i can feel right to the guitar there right now so i'm a little worried uh, let's take a look. Probably a good idea to get this out of the way. the box feel the guitar let's see what we got inside a couple more pieces of tape okay there it is Here we go. All right, that's a beautiful guitar. Check it for any damage. I don't see anything obvious. Let's see where that hole in the box would have sat. So right in this area. And I don't see anything. I see some scratches, but that should be just in this plastic cover. Yep. So yeah, this thing looks great so far. Check the neck pocket, looks good. I don't see any scratches, any manufacturing marks or errors anywhere. Uh, let's see, this thing was made in Indonesia, which I'm glad I was hoping it was. I uh, didn't have that in the description and my old one was made in Indonesia. So I wanted it to be the same. So side by side, let's take a look. All right, so you can see the difference in color. So that one's about 25 years old. I've had it for probably 20 of that time. Uh, this one's brand new. So you can see that nice white versus that nice yellow. The uh, pick guard's pretty yellowed compared to the new one. Um, I actually like the look of the old one. Maybe I'll switch those out at some point, but uh, for now I'm gonna leave it. Um, my old one, has a Seymour Duncan in the bridge. 
It was there when I bought it. Uh, I don't remember what model it was, but I remember when I looked it up, it was a good one. Uh, this one's got the factory. So I'm going to try that out. We'll see how it sounds. And then I may switch it from that one to that one. Or I have a couple other pickups um, laying around. I got a really old early 80s um, Charvel from a Charvel, Charvel Model 3. It's a nice Jackson pickup. Um, I may put that in there and I have like a black and white zebra pickup. I think it's like a DiMarzio. Um, if I remember right, it might've been like a George Lynch one or something. So I may try that in there too. Um, but let's go right up. So we have these nice, I don't know if you'd call them shark fins or not, but I'd call them lightning bolts or something. So like same on both take a look at the headstock so the only difference i see on the headstock is the older one has rg series written on there the newer one does not they are the same model um take a look at the hardware here so looking at that one versus this one the old one it looks like the screws underneath are black and you can see the silver ones here i don't really like that I may change those out and put some black screws in there. I hate to modify already. Um, also, I see the truss rod cover on the old one is just this one piece solid. And the new one's got like, looks like a little hatch or something. I haven't seen those on these guitars before. So yeah, it's a little hatch. That makes it convenient if you need to make an adjustment. Um, get that back in place there. Ah, looking at the bridge, here's the new one. First, the old one. So you can see it's an updated Floyd Rose style bridge. Uh, the old one is a licensed Floyd Rose. The new one, I believe is, I don't see it marked here. It may be underneath or something. Um, but I believe in the description it was a licensed Floyd Rose. I think it was a, uh, like, Edge two or something like that uh i don't know a lot about these bridges so could be wrong on that uh but yeah this is a great guitar i'm really happy with it um i'm gonna look this over with a fine tooth comb make sure nothing's wrong with it uh but so far so good i don't think i'll run into any problems let's take a look at the back so we got our serial number our made in indonesia neck looks nice nothing special uh, you can see that spot where they glue them though that's where they break on these guitars fairly easily uh, that's where my old one broke let's take a look at that yeah you can see right here uh, where that screw screws in it it broke right along the glue line here and then up to the screw uh, so that happened a few years ago um, I did glue it and it worked great for a few years, but like I said, it's the bridge pins, the problem now. Uh, so with this guitar, um, I did get the whammy bar. They gave me an extra spring, you know, all the wrenches that go with it as well. So uh, yeah, that's a great, great thing. Um, also gave me the maintenance manual. I probably won't need it, but I'll breeze through it to see what's in there. Uh, looks like that's everything in the box. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be great. I'll let you know how it sounds. All right, so while we're in here, I'm going to give you a quick tour, show you some of the guitars and some of the equipment I have. Uh, I got a lot of crap in here. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. Most of the guitars are in working condition. Um, I'm going to show you what I got. All right, we'll start off uh, left to right down the wall here. So, um, got an Epiphone Les Paul. I think it's a special or something. Yeah, Les Paul special. Uh, that's my daughter's guitar. It was her first guitar, and uh, she was learning pretty quick. Loved it. Uh, we then built this right here. So, that's a... Uh, what was it solo music instruments or something like that it was a solo guitar kit um 
we put that together it was pretty easy no problem all we had to do really was paint it and put it together set it up uh, so it's a nice sounding uh, strat copy uh, i have here a fender telecaster it's the um, modern player plus series unfortunately that's a made in china um, it's a nice guitar but at times the frets can be a little rough i need to do some work on that uh, but it's a beautiful looking guitar uh down here we have a squire stratocaster um let's see this is a 2018 uh i bought it maybe six months ago got a good deal on it um it came with the original pick guard and pickups so i'm gonna change what's on it out and make it original again see how it sounds the pickups in it kind of suck uh they sound dim dull really cheap uh, i think the guy probably just bought a loaded pick guard kit to put it in because he wanted two humbuckers um the original i believe has a hum and two singles so that's nice uh up here this is one of my favorites uh, that's a Fender Prodigy 2. Uh, it's a 1992, I believe. Actually, the serial number is 91, but they put them out in 92. Uh, that's a great playing Strat style guitar. It's slightly different shape than a Strat. If you notice on the horns, you can see it, and it's a little bit twisted compared to, you know, a classic Strat shape. Uh, it's got the bridge hum. Got a nice Kaler uh, tremolo. A lot of people talk crap about the Kalers. I don't have trouble with it. It's a great guitar. It stays in tune. I can set it down for a month, come back, pick it up, and it's dead on in tune. So that is a freaking great guitar. Um, here I got the uh, Dean Dave Mustaine VMNTX. It's the cheapo version. I think they. Uh, Retail, they were about 300 bucks, uh, but they haven't lost their value. They're still going for about 300 from the ones I see online. Um, it's a nice playing guitar. It had a lot of cheap hardware on it. I've actually replaced this because of rust. Um, all the knobs because of rust. Um, I do try to keep it clean, but the reality is uh, it had some cheap parts on it. Uh, all right, up here we have a Harley Benton. Um, so this is a Harley Benton, oh, I think it was like a TE80 Deluxe or something like that. It's a great playing guitar. I think it was under 200. It might be, might have been slightly over uh, with shipping. I can't remember, but if you haven't checked out Harley Benton, check it out now. Go to uh, Toman Music. It's a German company um and they'll ship to the u.s the shipping's expensive but the guitars are cheap enough and quality enough it makes it worth it so check that out i'd stay away from their beginner strats the ones that are like 80 bucks uh but if you step up you know a couple prices they should be a lot better um here we got another squire strat this is an af affinity version uh it actually sounds and plays really good um i got this maybe a year or so ago maybe a little less and the guy who had it basically said it was his wife's and it's been in the closet for years um it's a nice playing guitar this one is in 04 and black and white you can see i like the black guitars and the white guitars um go over here we have a lotus strat copy um, this actually plays and sounds better than a lot of the Squires I've bought, including this one, which I, I like. This one actually plays better. So you can see they're kind of the same guitar. Um, obviously the headstock's different. So Lotus has been around a long time. Uh, I did some research online and... It looks like this was probably made in the 90s, um, just based on what sticker I found on the QC sticker inside under the pickguard. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that because there's very little information out there. 
uh, but that's what that is. Um, you guys already saw these two. Uh, I still love that old one, but I, it's just too far gone. I can't repair it, so I'll probably use it for parts or sell sell parts. I'm not really sure. Uh, I hope this new one plays just as good. Um, over here, let's get these boxes out of the way. Um, so my one acoustic, it's an Ibanez Artwood. What is it? A, I think it's a 100 CE. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, yeah, it's a nice guitar. Sounds great. Plays good. It's got the Fishman... Um, pickups and all that so yeah that's nice um over here i got a pv raptor you've probably seen those beginner guitars uh this one needs some work on the frets uh, it's one of my hobbies i like to uh take cheap guitars and make them sound like a good guitar uh, this is a pile of parts that I put together. You got a Charvel Model 3 neck. I think it was a Model 3. Uh, an old 80s strap body. Believe it or not, the neck does fit. It was a little tight. And the intonation is not too bad at all. Um, I got it pretty maxed out in order to get it there. Um, I think there's one string, I think it was the low E that's slightly off, but uh, yeah, it plays good. I love this thing. Um, the pick guards from an old guitar I traded a nice guitar for, which I wish I had never done, but uh, yeah, so uh, that's that guy. I like this thing. Uh, I have here a Kaimar by Ibanez, I guess. Uh, bass guitar picked it up for 20 bucks at a yard sale you can't beat that um let's see we have a uh dean metal man v uh it's one of the older versions i haven't found a lot online but the newer ones the pickup i think is a little lower if i remember right but they changed the pickup spacing slightly all right let's see what else we got um in this one, I have another Dean Metal Man. Let me grit that out for you. All right, here's the other Dean Metal Man bass. Uh, you can see it's kind of the Dimebag Daryl shape. I don't know what you'd call it, but uh, this one's in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of rust on this hardware, so I'm going to replace that. Um, but overall, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, it plays okay, uh, it just needs some maintenance. I uh, did some trading and buying over the summer and ended up with that and the other bass. And we're going to have another bass to show you here. All right, here's the other bass. Uh, so this is a Squire. It's not marked on there, uh, but it is an actual Squire. I think somebody was going to try and turn it into a Fender. Uh, but it's Squire P-Bass, I believe. Um they added this pickup, uh, modified from the original, uh, which I don't really like that much. They also had to cut the pick guard to get it in there. They did kind of a choppy job putting it in, but it works. Um, I can't remember what that pickup was. It was kind of a really nice sought after pickup for, you know, old rock guys. Um, it might have been like Big Muff or something crazy like that, although that's a pedal, so it's probably not it, but something along those lines. Um, this case I picked up literally for five bucks. It was brand new. I couldn't believe it. I went to a yard sale. I said, oh, how much for the guitar case? They're like, I don't know. What do you want to give me? I said, how about five bucks? And they were like, yeah, sure. Uh, you cannot argue with that. Uh, I would have paid more. I just... Figured I'd lowball them and they'd come back with 20 bucks or something. Uh, when they said, yeah, I said, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's that guy. All right, over here we have an Aria Strat copy. Uh, it's a piece of junk, but I really wanted the pick guard. I liked it. Um, so I paid 40 bucks for this thing, pretty much for the parts. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do with it, but take a look at this. Somebody butchered it. Yeah, it's a piece of junk. So we'll see what's salvageable, see if that's even usable. Uh, haven't got into it yet, but there it sits. 
it's set there actually a couple months so i'm sure uh, i need to get into it here we have a ion strat copy box of parts everything's there i took it apart to maintain it uh this thing was disgusting when i got it i bought it for twenty dollars it had it looked like it was in a flood it like up to here it was just covered in crap inside the pockets here it was all moldy you can see there's still a little mildew so i'm gonna have to sand that out real good uh this is purely for fun i don't ever think this is going to be a great guitar but uh you know we'll fix it up see what happens um you can see the paint's coming off bubbling i kind of think i may sand it down and relic this thing uh just make it look cool it's never going to be a great player yeah let's see what else we got around here there's an old sg body uh, i'm doing some research it looks very similar to the really old uh 60s and 70s sgs and i kind of suspect that what it that may be what it is uh there's the body to that charvel that i mentioned earlier all right that's it for guitars let's take a look at amps so my everyday amp is this line six spider they have a horrible reputation with real players but i never said i was a real player um it's got all the effects built in and it sounds good. I'm happy with that. Uh, I got the pedal with it, so that's awesome. Uh, miscellaneous speaker there. I have 10 of these 4x12 cabinets. Um, I'm actually planning on selling them and moving them pretty cheap. I bought them up pretty cheap. Um, they just need uh, some checking on wiring, whatnot, make sure everything's working properly. Um, got a nice crate head there. It's an older one. Um, I don't know what that head is. Uh, G130C XL. If you've seen it before, let me know what the hell it is. Cause I don't, I don't think it's marked with anything else. Oh, some miscellaneous junk around. Um, here we go with my base rig. Uh, got a nice head there. It's an old PV base head. Uh, early eighties, I believe and some huge speakers don't ask me what size i'm gonna guess 20 inches or something but they're huge uh this is a loud setup um if you're wondering if i use all of these no i do not they were purely bought uh traded and bought to uh make some money to buy guitars so obviously i don't have enough guitars around here um this stand has another spot. I have a whole nother stand that holds nine more guitars. So uh, yeah, these speaker boxes are getting the hell out of here and we're putting a lot more guitars in here. So yeah, that's the band room. Um, there's my old band. There's me playing guitar and singing in my old band. You can see we only used quality equipment. Uh, it was called Recoil. Um, I'm not really in touch with those guys very much anymore, although I think I'm friends with Facebook with them. Um, but yeah, this is the guitar room. So if, if, uh, if you got a better guitar room, send me a link. I want to see it. Yeah, so that's the guitar room. Um, you've seen it all. If you got a better guitar room, I want to see it. Send me a link, send me a video, whatever. Send me a pic. Um, you can see I'm a huge mega fan. Uh, I actually just went to see them last night. They're freaking awesome. Uh, I think that's around 20 times I've seen them now, uh, which is about double what I've seen Metallica. So Metallica, sorry, but you're no mega Uh, yeah. So yeah, show me those guitars. Let me see them. Uh, I'm going to play this new one here and see how it sounds. I'll let you know what I think. All right, so uh, putting it on, first impressions. Uh, the frets up at this end feel great. As we get down here, they're getting a little sharp down here. So I may have to uh, touch those up just a little bit. I think that's probably not a great thing, but uh, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Uh, other than that, it feels great. Um, I did tune it up. It tuned no problem. But these strings are way too light for me. I think it came with nines, and I usually play uh, 1052s. Um, so especially up at the thicker strings, they're a lot 
they're way too thin. Um, the pickup honestly sounds like crap. Uh, if you're buying one of these, plan on getting new pickups. Um, I tried both. The neck humbucker actually sounds better than the bridge humbucker. And for metal, obviously, the bridge humbucker is what you want. So, uh, I'll give you a little demo here. I mean, I don't know if it's the pickup and the strings or what, but I mean, it just sounds crappy through my amp. My old one sounded awesome. So, uh, I'm definitely going to change the strings, put that other pickup in there while I got the strings off. Uh, I'll probably check the setup. Um, so far, I haven't really seen any. So, not really any buzz. We got some really nice action here. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's nice and low. Get that plug back in. So that was the neck pickup. Here's the bridge. So sounds really twangy. Um, I had the uh, tone rolled down a little bit. Um, trying to help with that doesn't really help. pickups in these things i know it's not the highest model not even close but come on make it sound good at least don't don't put this cheap shit in here anymore nobody wants it this is the worst sounding guitar I've ever bought. <laughs> uh, I knew I'd probably want to change the pickup. I'm just shocked at how bad this one sounds. Uh, I have some cheap ass guitars in here and I think this is the worst sounding one. Uh, yeah, Ibanez, get rid of these pickups, please. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's wrap this up. Um, I love the guitar. It came in one piece. Um, it's just like my old one, which I've loved for the last 20 years. Uh, we just got to get this one up to snuff with it. So um, I'll probably do some uh, oiling on the fingerboard, probably. Um, doesn't really look dry or anything, but I do like them oiled up. Um, I'll change out those screws. Definitely change out the bridge pickup while I'm at it. I'll probably just change out the other two because they are nothing special either. Um, and those old 1997, I think that's a 97. I can't remember. Mm, I guess I got to look it up. I'm pretty sure it's the late 90s though. Um, the late 90s pickups are just way better. Um, they were also, the original ones were white. So I'll show you that. Um, 
So all three were white originally. Whoever had this before me actually put the Seymour in there, probably because they felt the same way about the pickup that came with it as I do about this. Um, but uh, yeah, great guitar. Thanks for watching.